uh, five minutes before anybody comes in while we're still getting organized. Good. You are, your name is. Katie is going to give us the foundation. And we're going to build on her idea. So join her once you hear her, and then we will build our opening rhythm. Go ahead, Katie.
more stuff. It's called Rumble Firecracker. And first of all, sometimes people are like, yeah, do, do you want to sit in the chair with the drums? Would that be more comfortable? Those of you that are... Oh, so do whatever you need to do. There's some empty chairs. So if you're good, that's fine. Okay, good. Um, Rumble Firecracker. So does everybody have something to play? Everybody good? Okay. And so in Rumble Firecracker, it's taking the energy of the room. And so I now like to say, in your brain, there's neurons. So I tell the kids, can you show me both sides of your brain? This is the quick brain analogy. Okay, so one, one side, the other, and here they are. All right? And inside are super highways of neurons going like this. <laughs> and all those thoughts that kids come into the class with. It's like, well, you know, I'm gonna hide my catches and bring it back into focus. So this is a great way is to go way out of focus and go into a rumble. If you've got a ukulele or whatever you've got, um, gentle on it, but find a way that you can rumble. So ready, go. And who wires? So as fast as you can play. It's taking all that energy. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, so there, everybody calls back, but you keep queuing people. Oh, okay, but you better wait till we call back. So they queue. Now, as a group, 
I just assume, it doesn't matter who it is, what age they are, who they are, what their experience is, and I work with all ages. I assume and know that you are full of music, and my job is to find a way for you to know that you are full of music, and for you to find it and have fun. Find it, so, oh, wow, cool. And so if a class starts with particularly sixth graders, fifth graders, particularly my sixth graders, if a class starts with their five minutes of their music, so they come into the class, I usually assign a leader who I teach, and I'll show you at the end of our time together, uh, just a simple cues, facilitated cues I teach them. They come in, and that's the first student in, and the student has a beat buddy, and the beat buddy does just what I did with you. I said, beat buddy starts the group, and if the other students come in, the class starts with five minutes or seven of their music. So they're seen, they're heard, they've facilitated, they're there. Does that make sense to everybody? This changed everything for me with the students, particularly once in the inner city schools that I was working with. And like I said, I don't know, I don't know a lot of these students. If I see them more, I can set this up. But I set this up even first when I go in, I'll do a quick model and have the kids take over right away. So for classroom management, I wanted to just sort of share those with you, that is called a musical home in your notes. Okay, so when you, we talk about that um, musical home is that, I want to show you cross the midline drawing. So one of the things I've used a lot is this idea of relaxing the body. And I think right now the drawing is the best thing we can do with kids. I think to be able to have this kinesthetic dance and engagement across the midline of the body. And I'm going to show you the three ways. And this is how I'm going to weave the world rhythms into our session tonight. Um, it was a very brave and bold move. I was like, okay, I'm going to merge a bunch of sessions for you tonight. And so um, I am going to get a chair. I think if, oh, well, can you all see me if I just do here? Is everybody, you good? Okay. So if you uh, have an instrument that is not a drum, and drummers, if you want to share the drums, and let other people try them tonight since there's not a ton of them. If anybody wants a drum, uh, feel free to come on up and uh, give, it, uh, give it a try. But I'd love you to use your laps as well. And so, take your hands in the air and shake them. All right, great. And so, we're gonna do cross the midline drumming. And so, I want you to go in the middle, and in the middle we say bass, so it's bass, bass. And this will be on your knees, walking hands, so body drumming would just be knees, Back. 
simpatico system drums, and some of them have some funny, fun, funky names. So I got this, I've been introducing the names of the instruments to kids by creating an ensemble. So we're gonna have the, the Rhythm Family Ensemble, and we have, um, we have boom whackers out there, we have the resonator bars, we have tambourines, is that right? And did I miss anything else? The ukuleles and woods, okay. So we're gonna start with um, the djembe. So who's got a djembe? If somebody else can have this djembe, would someone like to play this djembe? You wanna get this djembe? This djembe is for grown-ups, okay, good. Okay, so we start with, let's all, we'll all play the djembe rhythm. So it goes, djembe, djembe, drum, djembe, djembe, drum,
and I'm building and sequencing skills and knowledge of what you're playing, of the basics of how to play it, but always bringing in your ideas, all right? And now I want to share um, a drum solo, the leadership toolbox. So this is a huge part of, for me, the classroom management piece, is to empower the students to have a short period of time where they're helping facilitate music with their peers. So everybody stand up, and I'm going to take you through just the, the six basics, all right? And then we're going to have some of you lead here. So pulse in body. I always tell them you've got to step the pulse. In body, pulse. So step, 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 step. Good. Find the pulse. All right, great. Because if people are going to succeed, some are just going to be watching and not listening. All right, but it's good to say it and move it and show it. I tell the kids, give, give your peers, your friends, every chance to be successful. So you put one hand in the air. So we're going to stop the groove because it's going. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and stop. It's almost like safe. They're in, you take them out. Ready? Set, two, two. One more time. Say it with me. One, two, three, four, and stop. Now, if you want to count Lots of people do that. Let's try that too. Four, three, two, one. And you can do what works for you. And I tell the kids the same thing. Two, two, two. Just count it the other way. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Super. Okay, now we need to bring them back in. Here's where I can change the pace. Two, 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 Johnny, two, two. And we're gonna count. One, two, la 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 la. Just go with me. Here you go. Say it. One, two, la 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 la, and in. Their outcome in. Here we go. One, two, la 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 la, in. Okay? One more time. One, two, la 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 la, and in. The reason I do la 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 is you can say anything. You can say back to the group, everybody play, let's all go, just the shakers. It's in a little hole where you can say, or you know what to do. All right, here we go. One, two, so say, um, let's all play. One, two, let's all play. Boom, and they're in. Now say something else. One, two, you know what to do. And in, now say something else. Here you go. One, two, do it your way. And in, you got it. So I want to have the kids be creative when they're doing that as well. Volume sculpt, I like to give a bottom. Take it up. And down. Good job. Uh, rumble. It's always fun. Okay, uh, continue to play. You saw me do that because some of you, you know, if you stop the group, you got to make sure to tell the group before you stop the group to keep on playing. Continue to play sculpting. Sculpting. So sculpting, you saw me do it. I just looked at a group and it was like a pie. And I told this group, keep on playing. So now just imagine you're all sculpting. So just sculpt a piece of the group. No one's looking at you, but sculpt them. Look at them and say, keep on playing. And then you sculpt the rest of the group. And you say four to stop to let them know it's coming up. So it's either four to stop, and then you go one, two, three, four, stop. That's all you need to know. Everybody get back to your instruments. And we're going to play for just a little bit. Okay. You ready? One, two, two, two. One, two. Let's all play.
Thank you. 